because we bring in the new head coach Here we of go. the New York Jets, Robert Sala. Coach, it's Michael, Don, and Peter. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you guys doing? We're doing great. Now, obviously, this is something you've worked for your whole life, but when you hear yourself introduced as the new head coach of the New York Jets, what kind of feeling is that? It's cool, man. I mean, it's what I a bet. blessing, right? <laughs> um, I, I, I couldn't be happier. Um, it's been it's been a heck of a journey, and the, the best part about it is it's just beginning. So it's uh, um, I'm excited about the opportunity. The players seem to love you. Uh, Richard Sherman has had high praise about you. So does that, Robert, make you a player's coach? Um, I, I think it makes makes everyone it makes us human um you know it's uh i don't know if there's i've never bought into the whole players coach uh all that stuff i just think when when people are genuinely in it together uh and we're all fighting for one thing and people invest in one another i just think it naturally happens that way so you can call it a players coach if you want i just think it's being respectful to the process and understanding what these players go through day in and day out and having it reciprocated from a player's uh, viewpoint to coach and so um but always understanding that we're in this together we win together we lose together we learn together and so um you know having that mentality is is going to be the, is the most important thing to me with regards to this this profession i, I was wondering because i was listening to your zoom call with the media and and you said the players have to know that you care about them and i started to wonder how a difficult tightrope that must be so you have to care about your players but sometimes you have to get tough with them sometimes you have to say no that you did the wrong thing how difficult is that for you to make to make that tightrope across the uh, bridge it it's not difficult because players players want to be coached they want to be coached hard they want perfection they want they want to know that you're helping them make plays on sunday so they can have the best career they can possibly have and so when a player knows that you're genuinely invested in them and and you're genuinely trying to help them get better every day you can tell them what they need to hear so they can get better they want to hear it um i think when 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 you see it a lot coaches are afraid to coach players because of what they might feel about them well it, it's different when they know where your heart is it's different when they know you can help them, it's different. It's a lot easier to be able to uh, have those conversations because those players know that you're just trying to help them get to where they want to get to. Uh, many of, I'm sorry, Peter. No, no, go ahead. No, go ahead, Don. Many people have said, why didn't this happen sooner? You, you've been ready now for a couple of years. Uh, if that were, was the case, what did these last couple of years do to help you before taking this job? You're, you're, you're always going to find ways to get better, right? Um, uh, I, I'm more prepared today than I was two years ago. I'm more prepared today than I was yesterday. Uh, every day that goes by, uh, you always have to find a way to get better. And so whatever your circumstances doesn't doesn't change the fact that you've got to wake up every morning and find ways to improve your your style, improve your your yourself. And so um, you know it it, it never met any frustration it's just opportunities uh come about and, and to be honest with you throughout this whole process you know it's uh even if it didn't work out during this process i was still going to be one of the lucky ones and uh uh but but to have it happen and this town with this team uh means more than i think people can possibly realize Coach, uh, there's a, a lot of excitement here about your, your attitude, the success you had uh, on, on defense in San Francisco, and also excitement because you're the first uh, Muslim head coach, and there's a, 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 the entire Muslim community here is very excited about that. First of all, what does that mean to you? And second of all, we all say Robert Sala. Is that exactly how your family pronounces your name? Yep, no, no that's exactly right. Um, uh, I, I'm humbled, um, to be honest with you. It's a... Uh, I, 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 it's with great humility that I, uh, uh, that people recognize that part of it. Um, it's, uh, it's one of the cool things about a football locker room. Uh, when you step into a football locker room, the amount of stories, nationalities, races, uh, that you encounter in a locker room is second to none. Uh, and the fact that all of them can appreciate and combine together to for one goal is what makes those locker rooms so cool and unique. The discussions that are had, the, the relationships that are made, um, everything without judgment. And so, you know, the, those locker rooms, uh, to be a part of those locker rooms and to be a part of these organizations has been a blessing for the last however many years. And, uh, and so it, it is a very humbling uh, 
uh, thing to be a part of. Now, Coach, obviously, you know, a coordinator is always going to take a head coaching job. I mean, that's just a natural progression. But everything I've read, you were beloved in San Francisco. I mean, Shanahan just has the, the most glowing things to say about you. Was that a difficult goodbye for you because you were so well regarded by the people and the players? Um, it, it's it's always hard. Um, what the Shanahan family has done for me, uh, the support not only from Kyle but from his wife Mandy to his uh, to Kyle's father Mike. Um, the amount of support and guidance and um, uh, just words of wisdom that uh, have been bestowed upon me, it's been, uh, it, is, I, it is met with tremendous gratitude. And uh, so it's always hard, but they are forever family to me. The entire Niners organization is family. The players, the coaches, the York family, um, just because you're in a different location doesn't mean that they're not family and that you can't FaceTime and you can't communicate. And so... Um, it's always hard, but it's it's never goodbye. It's more I'll see you later, you know. <laughs> yep. Uh, you you it's known that you and Matt Lafleur are are best friends, uh, going back a very long time to Central Michigan. How dialed in will you be this weekend uh, for his championship game on Sunday? Oh man, I'm uh, you know I got a lot of respect for all the different coaches and uh, especially at Tampa and all that, but uh, but I will you know uh, probably aside from his wife and kids and his immediate family, I'll be his next best cheerleader. I'm uh, I'm gonna get together with Mike and uh, we're gonna sit down and um, I'm praying for him. I, I can't wait to see his team execute. They he's doing he's done such an unbelievable job over there and uh, uh, really really excited for him and the opportunity that he's got with his team and they're they're rolling. So it's gonna be a cool game to watch. Now, Coach, you just you got were, this job. Go ahead, Don. You just got this job, but you did face this team in week two, so you do have some kind of knowledge of the personnel. Who are some of the current Jets right now that impress you? Um, you know what? They're, we're we're going to go through that process. I've got to uh, uh, sit down with the staff and really sit down over the next few weeks and just really evaluate these guys and uh, – and and see where where they are, but I can. There's some really cool guys. Just re, uh, recollection from the draft and just over the years. And you look at on defense, Quinn Williams. Uh, uh, that kid is is special. He's a game wrecker. Uh, he's somebody you have to game plan against to keep him at bay. And uh, uh, obviously, the it gives the other ten guys an opportunity to excel just because of the focus that he's going to garner. Um, on the other side of the ball, you look at Sam. Sam is an unbelievable talent. He really is he's got there's a reason why he was the third pick in the draft uh his arm talent is special his uh, natural thrower he's fearless in the pocket uh the young man's got the mental capacity to uh, process and make decisions in a timely manner to, to keep himself clean and if things break down he has the ability to scramble and 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 make plays on the move so um there are there are a lot of really good players to, to go through the whole roster i'm sure i'd miss somebody but uh there's there's a lot of great uh, there's a lot of great pieces to this roster, and uh, to have the ability to uh, study it all and 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 see where everything fits uh, as we employ uh, deploy this uh, scheme and implement and install our schemes on offense, defense, and special teams, it'll kind of come to fruition about where we're at. New Jets head coach Robert Sala is our guest here on the Michael K Show, 98.7 ESPN. By the way, coach is the home of the New York Jets. We have all the games on, so we look forward to talking to you a lot now. 